Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about seven science-based benefits of drinking the right amount of water for your body. So let's get started. So we're not gonna waste any time. We are gonna get right into it. Tip number one is proper hydration is going to maximize your physical performance. The human body is made of 60% water and if you drop your hydration level just as little as 2%, you will see a marked difference in your physical performance when it comes to sports, when it comes to training, when it comes to anything athletic, you will notice and observe a physical difference. Now, not only is this going to help boost your performance, it is also going to help minimize the oxidative stress put on the body by high levels of performance and training. It's also going to help make sure that you can actively moderate your body's temperature, which is not as able to be controlled when you are dehydrated. It's going to help reduce fatigue. It's also going to keep your body motivated as well because high intensity sports are very challenging. The oxidative stress is very real on the body and being properly hydrated will support that. So the next thing, number two, is that this is going to significantly impact your brain function. Yes, so your brain is strongly influenced by hydration. In a study of young women, researchers found that a fluid loss of 1.4% after exercise impaired both the mood as well as the ability to concentrate. When you are not properly hydrated, you cannot think clearly, you cannot focus, and you cannot concentrate. So keep in mind that mild dehydration, meaning a fluid loss of anywhere from one to 3%, can impair your energy levels, your mood, and it will lead to some major reductions in your memory as well as just your overall cognitive brain performance. So number three is that being properly hydrated may help prevent and treat headaches. So if you ever struggle with headaches, which I do occasionally, dehydration can trigger headaches and even migraines in some individuals. And so many times you will be asking yourself, oh, do I need more coffee? Do I need to eat something? When the reality is that headache may be the reality from you just simply being dehydrated. And what's more is that some studies have shown that drinking water can actually help relieve headaches in those who experience frequent headaches. So if you are a headache person, drink your water, drink your water, drink your water, drink your water. And number four is drinking water may help relieve constipation. If you are struggling with regular bowel movements, increasing your fluid intake is often recommended as a part of the treatment protocol and there is definitely evidence to back that up because low water consumption does appear to be a risk factor for constipation in both younger as well as older individuals. So drinking plenty of water is going to help prevent, it's going to help relieve constipation, especially in people who generally do not drink enough water. Now proper hydration is also going to be important for helping to treat kidney stones. Now, urinary stones, which is a kidney stone, they're painful clumps of a material that begins to form in the urinary system. And the most common form is a kidney stone. And it is actually very, very, very extremely painful if you or you know anyone who has ever experienced and passed one through their system. So higher fluid intake is going to increase the volume of urine passing through the kidneys. As a result, it's going to dilute the concentration of minerals thus making it less likely for them to crystallize and form clumps. So this increased water intake is going to decrease the risk of kidney stone formation to begin with. So number six is being properly hydrated is going to help prevent hangovers. So as we know, hangover is the very unpleasant symptoms that you experience after you drink alcohol. It's a serious rookie mistake to you know, just be completely dehydrated, not have enough fluid in your body, and then to just go in on the alcohol. If this is you though, and it's already too late, I do recommend that you actually include the milk thistle extract supplement before and after drinking, as it's going to help accelerate the rate of detoxification of the liver. But you know, although dehydration isn't the main cause of a hangover, it can cause symptoms like thirst, headache, fatigue, and dry mouth. 
So just make sure that you are properly hydrated and if you are already too far gone, still drink water anyway because it's going to help accelerate getting through those symptoms. And last but not least, Drinking water is so important because it can aid in weight loss. Drinking water is going to help increase satiety, it's going to help boost your metabolic rate, it's going to allow your liver to function the most properly so that way you guys can oxidize fat as a fuel source. So there is some evidence that also suggests that water intake can promote weight loss by slightly boosting the metabolism which can increase the number of calories you burn on a daily basis. In a 2013 study in 50 young women, overweight demonstrated that drinking an additional 16.9 ounces of water three times a day before meals for eight weeks led to significant reductions in body weight and body fat overall compared to their pre-study measurements. So timing is definitely going to be important with that too. So the bottom line, you guys, is that even mild dehydration can affect you mentally and physically. You need to make sure you're drinking enough water per day. In general, I recommend people to drink a minimum of your total daily energy expenditure, whatever that value is in calories, use that same exact equivalent value in milliliters. So that's the bare minimum. Obviously getting closer to a gallon a day is going to be a little bit better for you, but the bare minimum is going to be your total daily energy expenditure, that value in calories in milliliters of water. So any questions or concerns, please comment below and I will see you on the next one.